Welcome to Starfield and 16 Pro Tips and Tricks from All Areas. Because with this you are not only faster, earn more, or do more damage, but you also have a real advantage in other areas. Tip number one, run without limits and also completely and hopelessly overloaded. Because with the power of your own atmosphere, which you unlock quite early in the game, you have the opportunity. With this you create a bubble around you, which immediately brings you back to the maximum in the green area and you can also run straight on. And in addition, the ability recharges so quickly that you can usually repeat it unlimitedly as soon as you return to the red area. And that you can never die completely in the red area with health loss, we have already shown you in the previous tips and tricks video. However, in this way you always stay fast. Tip number two, use the range of your ship as a storage option. Because no matter where you are on the way, you have a range of 250 meters on your ship's cargo hold. So you can also save a lot of time overloading and access your ship's cargo hold from a distance. For this, simply go to your menu and select your ship at the bottom left. There you will find the cargo hold at the bottom right. If you select this and your inventory, you can switch between your ship and your inventory back and forth and thus store materials or get items from your ship. And this is especially useful if you have to shop for large quantities of raw materials and you are basically overloaded here. Because the distance to the ship is given in most zones anyway. For example, you can access your ship directly from the shop after shopping on New Atlantis. A cumbersome return to the ship is thus eliminated. And this range is also given in various other cities and shopping options. So you have the option to return to your ship at any time and do not have to return. And alternatively, you can also use your companion. This one also has a few kilos of carrying capacity left. But we already showed you that in the last tips and tricks video. Next tip, use shortcuts and secret accesses. Because hidden everywhere, in almost every area, you will find the walls that you can clear with your laser or with any weapon. This saves you a lot of work or comes to secret areas. And of course explosives also work. The next tip is about head money. Have you ever accidentally shot at an ally or have you become a criminal somewhere? Then a head money has been spent on you. If you now enter the respective area, you have to pay a fine and all your stolen items and jewelry are gone. But there is a much easier and more elegant way to do this. Simply place a head money terminal on a random outpost. So you can pay head money at every faction remotely and then be free of fines again. And you keep all your items and jewelry. And the next tip is directly the mission board, which you can also buy. Here you have the option to take on missions. And so, for example, for shots of the Crimson Fleet, unlimited enemy ships to cap. Because here, with each mission, a ship is automatically generated for you, which you can of course cap. And how you can take over an enemy ship, we have shown you in detail in the last videos. However, here is the short summary. As soon as you have taken on a corresponding mission, destroy the drive of the enemy ship in target mode and get closer to 500 meters. Because after that you can dock and after the crew turns off, the ship is yours. In addition, on this way you have the option to withdraw significantly more loot and equipment from the missions because a destruction of the ship is still possible even after boarding and collecting the loot. Make sure to not only empty the enemy, but also the cargo hold and the captain's spin. This is usually worth it. But with secured ships, we come to the next tip. If you want to sell them, you have to register them beforehand. However, never register a ship with the ship salesman, because here you have a horrendous price for it. Go much more with the selected ship directly into your ship and you can also register the ship here. There you pay a significantly lower price and save yourself mostly a few percent which corresponds to thousands of credits. 
In addition, the ship values vary significantly sure when you talk to the dealer or call up the ship in your own inventory. And with the combination of the accepted mission, the captain of a crimson ship and the sail, you make a good 50,000 to 100,000 credits per mission. And that also with a small space battle and a shooting range. In addition, you have the option to collect many weapons and items from the shot down enemies. The next tip. Use your booster in alternative mode and thus you are much faster and boost very strongly forward. Because for your jetpack there is the alternative mode, which you have to assign individually under the button assignment. If you assign a button here, you fly faster forward by pressing the alternative jump button. With this, you are not only much faster on the way, but also have the opportunity to explore the area more elegantly. Here it is also worth investing some points in the boost ability, because with it you are actually permanently on the way with the boost and only touch the ground in the event of an exception. Tip number 9. Why not also collect resources in space? Because the asteroids that you find everywhere are not just targets. Because already after a few hits, a mineral deposit or another loot box is generated. Here you can collect a lot of materials very quickly and easily. And you not only find rocks, but also sometimes other objects in the different deposits. Again, the higher the level of difficulty and the further you get into a high level sector, the better the loot. Tip number 10. Visit Vladimir's house in any case. You also get this little side activity in the course of the first campaign and have the opportunity to visit Vladimir's house. In the basement you will find a locked door, which you can easily break. But you will find one of the best pistols in the game here. Because with the Mutineer, even if it is only a blue weapon, you will certainly have a lot of fun. You can also continue to mod it. You will also find the Crick's Diary, which helps your companions 5% more weapon damage. And of course all kinds of other randomly generated loot. In the next tip, we will show you how to level the outpost technology as quickly as possible. Because, for example, to build an outpost on Venus or other more hostile planets, you need a high level. Here, it is enough if you build an airlock. This way you can meet the challenges with different outposts on different planets. After all, you get the materials back when you tear down the outpost. The next tip is more of a warning. Because if you use the available weapon stands in your ship, they are completely empty after the next load and save. To be on the safe side, it is enough to simply throw the weapons on the ground. Tip number 13. Level your spaceship design. And at the same time, how can you install the con spike and the distributor network for the Crimson Fleet campaign? For those who play the Crimson Fleet campaign, they come to the point that they have to install a con spike and a distributor network. Otherwise, you will come to the shipbuilding area at the latest, which you try to level your spaceship design. And for this you have to select equipment items and install them on your ship, as in this case the con spike and the distributor network. Because for the challenges in spaceship design, you have to build unique parts. If you now place them on the cave, you already have two points for spaceship design. And you can also complete the mission. And to continue leveling, it is possible to select various parts. And tip number 14 is also part of the Crimson Fleet campaign. Because there you can collect the legendary Revenant, one of the strongest weapons in the game. It does not only do an incredible amount of damage, but also has a massive magazine and a pronounced useful aid. And in addition to the Eternity's Gate and Unmitigated Violence, which you can unlock via the New Game Plus mode, this weapon is one of the absolute strongest in the game and should stay in your inventory. Tip number 15. Increase your chance of persuasion. Again and again, in the course of the campaign or in missions, you come to the point of being able to use persuasion as an ability. And with this, your chances of success can also increase by over 50% in the fourth rank. Because in addition to different types of wine and other alcoholics, various drugs also offer you a temporary buff of over 20%. Here you persuade everyone. With tip number 16, we come to the end and something for the eye. At least if you are looking for companions who have as little as possible. 
Because if you stop at Porima 2 and here at Paradiso, you will find a lot of good stuff. There are some interesting pieces of clothing at the beach houses that can clearly enhance your characters and companions. And how your companions look in swimsuits, I'll leave to you. And for your opinion, hints, or other comments, please let me know. In the comments, in the Discord, or in the regular Twitch live streams. See you soon. Thanks for watching.